So we're here, the SU 101, if you guys have not missed this. Uh, well, pretty much we uh, unlocked the SU 101 uh, technically last night slash early this morning uh, on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras. And so we have now recently sold our crew and we now have the SU 100 M1 crew in here. Now, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, what's wrong with the crew? Now, I'm going to explain something that's quite pretty nifty about the crew. And that is the crew system. So if you click on here, then you go to retrain. And then you click retrain. Okay. Now what that's done is that's retrained the crew. Okay. To use this tank. But it has not retrained, retrained the crew to use their skills either at 91%. The reason why it goes to 100 is because of the consumables. Again, we're using the exact same build all the way up to the Object 268. So, if you're asking me about the equipment, it's only going to be uh, rammer, improved hardening, and optics. That's it. That's all we're using. No turbos, no none of that sort until we get to the tier 10 tank, in which case, when I unlock the alternate build set setup, there is going to be a ramming setup because why the hell not it's an object 268 as well as this setup this is my go-to setup for soviet tank destroyers especially turretless uh tank destroyers because it works it works for me i've got it in my yag tiger and it works um i had a lovely uh, platoon game uh with a really old old friend who i've not seen in a while they messaged me they they even rejoined they even joined the clan so and the clan is taking back off again. So we've got a whole bunch of new members. Thank you so much for that. I greatly appreciate it. But there's another little nifty little trick I want to show you about what you can do in the crew system. Now, notice how my crew are only 90%, but they still have a skill. Now, technically, yes, you can use that skill. If we look over, my skill, my recon skill is only 375. Okay. The perk does count. However, it gets a negative. So that seven doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something really, really cool. What you can do is right click, go to personal file, click reset, click 81% and then hit reset again. And then what that's going to do, reset the skill and take a, a small amount of the EXP it's required to get that crewman to 100%. Now I've got 100% commander. So I can go to training, I can go to perks, I can then go to recon, I can then do this. And now, if I go to my view range, now look, I'm at 391. I have no penalties. So it cost me, you know, 10% of the skill to get him to 100% so that that way I can then use books, training manuals or, 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 or clan boosters, etc, etc. You can do it to every single crewman. You go, just click reset, 20%, done. Done. That's it. You've reset his, his, his crew, my gunner's crew. So I can go to my gunner and I can say, okay, let's give him snapshot or dead eye. Uh, well, clearly he needs snapshot because, you know, turret rotation, you know, dispersion during turret rotation. Because technically moving the tank, again, I'm not sure if it works that way with turretless tank destroyers. We'll figure it out. But again, hit reset, 20%. Yeah, it costs you 20,000 credits. Okay. So it costs me the, for, for the cost of one premium consumable. Okay. Go to perks. He's my driver. So clutch braking because this thing's going to need it. Um... And again, do it to the loader. Go to the loader. Reset. Now, he's at 100%. All my crew is at 100% now. So now, I'm no longer on the struggle bus with the crew. The crew's at 100%. And in fact, I can even go as far ahead and actually go here, click this, buy the book, and give them back that missing percent. Ta-da! They're now back up to where they was. Well, sorry, less 1%. So, you burn off 1%. But there we go. Now, let's go to the exterior. We already agreed that we're going to go with only one specific camo. 
care to scare. That's going to be the camo that the Object 268 is going to end up with because it's just our trademark thing. But we're done. Now we just pick what ammo we want. Now bear in mind this is the stock gun. It's going to need a lot of this. Uh, I really don't want to do that. But, you know, it's going to need it. 235 pen even still at tier. And we will see tier 10s. This is the thing. We will now officially see tier 10s. If we come across a super heavy in this thing, we're not going to pen him. Not until we get a decent gun. Now, before we can get a decent gun, unfortunately, I believe we're going to have to get a tracks. No, we don't have to get the tracks. So we can just burn away and try to get the gun. At least a tier 9 gun so that we can at least punch. See, 330 pen, that's more doable. If we come across a super heavy, might not work. But the point is, it's doable. Okay? And look, we're literally almost at the tier 9. Granted, no blueprints have been spent. So as you can see, guys, no blueprints have been have been spent on the Object 263. So there's no blueprints. So we're going to be grinding out 215,000 EXP. Well, in this tank, it's going to be 152,000 EXP in this tank. Not including the additional 110, uh, 120, 140. Uh, so we're going to need at least 300,000 EXP to get this tank to an elite status. So we're going to have to get used to playing this tank for a while. And this one says it's a versatile tank destroyer. As well, the other one was an assault tank destroyer. Now, the difference between the two is... I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here. Is... A versatile tank destroyer just means... See where the main push is. Do what you can. Or wait and see where... And when I mean the main push, I don't mean your team's main push. I mean the enemy team's main push. And you try to help defend and whittle it down you become part of what's known as a fluid defense now i've explained i explained this in in, in the twitch stream so i'm going to explain it again the difference between a static defense and a fluid defense static defenses are tank destroyers like um the death star yag tiger uh, uh yag panther e100 stuff like that tanks that have one specific thing which is either fear of their gun i.e. the Death Star, pew, 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 it goes their tank, or the or the Yagi bouncing shots left, right, and center, because it's a Yag Tiger, um, unless you know where to aim. Those are, they can be technically used as static defense. Tanks that have mobility, like the E-50M, um, uh, the Object 140, uh, the Hellcat Tank Destroyer, um, there's just a few off the top of my head. Those have mobility. Those are part of a fluid defense, which is you see where the push is coming, you engage, you disengage, you engage, you disengage. What I mean by that is you have your heavier tank destroyers like your turtles, your badgers, uh, your Yag Tigers, or your, your E100s, or your Mountain Breakers, or your, your, your Mouses be the defense or the is sevens or whatever tank you have as your as your super heavy oi you name it whatever or even a type 5 heavy it doesn't matter as long as it is your heavy tank that is literally your shield against the term tank think of it as an mmo you have your tank you have your wit your your your, your rogue damage data the glass cannon then you have your wizard or your cleric and, 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 and various other things. Well, those roles are very similar to here in World of Tanks, i.e. heavy tanks are the tanks. Tank destroyers are, well, the wizards, gla oh, uh, rogues, glass cannons. Artillery eh, is artillery. Um, and medium tanks are your ranger, run-of-the-mill kind of person. Now, a six second load time for this gun not too shabby but again let's enough waffling on let's get into the first game and uh, again we're going to activate some boosters we do have stronghold boosters now because because we were doing a lot of stuff uh, uh clan wise um 
we do have a few stronghold boosters. I'm not going to activate those just yet because it's just me playing. I'm going to wait for everyone else to get on and figure it out and, and, and whatnot so that when we activate them, everyone can get benefits from them. And there's no point in activating it now if only it's just me that's going to benefit. It's going to, re it's going to mess over the rest of the, the clan, and that's not what I want to do. That's not what I do. So again, we are in the queue. All right, so we found a game pretty quick. I'm not sure if that's good or bad news. And it's Corellia. This is a tier 8 game. Um, they have a Lerva, which I know I can pen with my premium rounds. Uh, premium being 235. At a push. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah. We might be able to do some damage. Now, um, I'm not sure if this... Again, this is the stock engine, stock tracks, stock gun, stock radio. Everything in this tank is stock because everything from the previous tank, none of it carried over. Uh, See? And yes, the, the, I've, I've switched over to the mad scientist, as I like to call him. Uh, I do like that voice pack. I think I might keep it for a while. Uh, don't get me wrong, I still love my Cobra. I still love my Cobra Commander. Case in point, you're going to see uh, a static and fluid defense. The fact that we've got two KV-5s herpy-derping across, that's great. Jassaw's going to be static. Interesting. E-25 static. Kappa's Panzer 07 is being static, which means they're stationary, they're seeing what they can light up, see what they can shoot. A Pazante C45, is he going to go wide? Doesn't look like it. Wait, wait. Mm-hmm. He did go wide. That's fine. That's fine. Go wide. Go wide, my friend. Go wide. Go wide. Okay. Jagdpanzer is lit. Got no shots on him, though. Yeah, oh, someone does. That's good. Okay, that's good. Oh, that poor Jagdpanther's not enjoying life. And that T-34-3 T better get the hell out of there. Okay, we're swapping out to our premium rounds because that's why. Lerva did see us. He caught us. You got, you got me once, mate. You got me once. One to you, one to you. Now he knows what he's doing. Okay, unfortunately... Oh, interesting. We didn't get the side armor of the C-30. Okay, so hopefully the Lerva's going to... There you go. I was going to say, so hopefully the um, KV-5s have paid, got the attention of the rest of the team. Okay, so there's... Ooh, Artie, hello. Ooh, shell whizzed over him. Interesting. I can't penetrate him. Hmm. Again, the velocity of these shells is not the best. Yeah. Shell velocity is not the best. Okay, so he's... Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're going to make... We're still going to make do. We're still going to make do. Okay, we'll do what we can. Okay, KV-5 needs help with the Lerve. Okay, so they're both dead. Come on, don't let me down, gun. Yes, finally. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's an enemy that's defeated. It's an enemy that's defeated. Okay, so we're going to get on the cap and apply some pressure. There's a just saw. 1008 out there somewhere and a Hotchkiss. Uh, okay, Super Hellcat. Ooh, got a flanking maneuver on the E25. That's an interesting move. Okay, interesting camo on the uh, KV-5 there. A KV-5 is an interesting Bond tank. Uh, it used to be a premium tank, but they did do some buffs and nerfs to it. Aha, there he is. I knew there was an E-5 around here somewhere. So E-5 is doing static defense. Okay. Now... I have chat disabled. I have my reasons as to why. One, I just don't like talking to people, especially in pub games. Uh, and two, it's not a personal hatred or anything. Yeah, so I can, I can bounce him. Okay, yeah, uh, we, we've got this. Again, I'm just applying some pressure. Okay, there's the Jassaw. He will pen me. 
No? Okay, cool. Again, we'll put some pressure back on. Can we get a shot or two off? Again, I want to go for the Jasaur because he does air. Uh, okay, or not. Hiya. Nice, he's trapped. Nice, nice, nice. All that assist damage. Very nice, very nice. KT29. He's out there. We might be able to get... Oh! Oh! Feathered that. Feathered that bad boy. Okay, so... He's definitely going to be booking it towards Yarty. Definitely. Okay, but we're going to... We're, we're, oh, actually, you know what? 54 kilometers on a stock engine? Yeah, great. We were going downhill. That's pretty impressive. I'm sorry. I'm... I knew it. I called it. <laughs> I called it. I told you. So you. See, now, you can always spot a player, okay, who doesn't care about his team, because if he did care about his team, he would have came back. Same as that T29. Okay, well, apparently this tank lost his head. Was it an IS-3? It's a Soviet of some kind. Yeah, IS-3. Poor IS-3 got ammo racked. Oh, we've got this, my friend. We've got this. Hopefully we've got this. I hope we got this. KV-5 is like, nah, I'm too fat and slow. I'm not going to... Yeah, we're chasing him off. Good, 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 good. That's a poor Hellcat. Super Hellcat, by the look of it. Yeah, Super Hellcat. Poor thing. But yeah, he's on the lamb. And he's... Oh, he's... Oh, 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 that's interesting. That's an interesting spin there. Okay, so our first game. Not too bad. Um... Again, our gun did let us down, but it's the stock gun, so there's only so much we can do. Uh, we did have to tap the two key, unfortunately, but it you know, is what it is. Is what it is, and uh, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. Pink lemonade before anyone asks. Third class mastery badge, not too shabby. We will apply that bonus. Okay. 4k well we've got six is that enough for anything uh, it would get us a radio but n no nothing spectacular and that's fine my our main goal first is to get the upgraded gun in my honest opinion uh, we need the penetration um let's take a look at the shell uh, okay interesting all right cool 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 cool, cool. now again i want to take a look at the shell velocity real quick uh what's this one uh 895 Ah, okay, okay, all right, all right. So the stock shells, the shell velocity is not the greatest. That says a lot. That was that. That says a lot. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. The reason why I look at the shell velocity is because you have to take that into account with the overall accuracy of the gun. Um, if the, if it's got really fast shell velocity, the shell is not going to droop. There's less chance of it just going. Pfft. I'm falling out the sky, if that makes sense. Um, that's the one thing I'm glad that Wargaming, I think, as far as I know, hasn't modelled into the game, and that is bad powder. Um, in real life, tanks, uh, some tanks can't fire certain ammunition because either the powder burns too too hot, which causes uh, uh, heating issues, so it causes the next round you put in to detonate, which, will and that's bad, you know, uh, things of that nature. Um... Okay, there's quite a few heavies here, but not really super, super heavies. Uh, I can penetrate most of these guys. I wouldn't say the stock ammo will get me through the Tiger 2. But, okay, so what we're going to do is we're not going to go with the heavies. We're going to... I'm going to go up north. There is... Uh, let's see, two light tanks in the ELC, even night in a Link 6x6. Six six. Okay, alright. Okay, the Link 6x6 six six went high. Interesting. It's brave. Stupid, but brave. Because he's trying to light up what he can. Maybe he's doing a quest. Um, I'm not sure about the camo on this tank yet. That's one thing I haven't checked out yet. But, um... You know, we can... I mean, this has got a lot more armor than the previous tank. So, as you would expect for a, another tier higher. Um, so, I mean, we did bounce a Patriot... Uh, was it Patriots? Yeah, we, we bounced a Patriots uh, shell. When the Patriot does get a good gun. Um, compared to a regular 
uh, Pershing. Alright. Oh, Link 6x6 six six got one shotted by a Scorp. Good shot, Scorp. Alright, come on. Yeah, motor's definitely going to be a requirement for this thing. Um, now, another thing I've noticed that when tanks don't have a good motor, i.e. most of the German super heavies, they try to offset it with a turbo. That won't work for you, my friends. Don't, 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 don't. What are you doing, mate? He's right there. There you go. Again, my shell velocity is not the greatest. And that's fine. Nice. Fired a little bit too early there. Okay, 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 okay. Heavies are uh, pushed through. They've made a breakthrough. Is that AMX M49? Okay. Interesting. Okay, T44 is in a good position. Scorps in another good position. Again, C, fluid defense. We're seeing where the enemy's pushing. And we're saying right O. Alright, so our Skoda T56 has definitely taken the attention away from us over here. T44 out in the open. Can our Scorp take an advantage of that? No, nope, they're too busy focusing on the M49. We don't want to focus on him. Okay, alright, alright, that's good. Skoda got rid of the, the, the TVP. Let's Saladans up. I've got no shot on him now, I don't think. T44's taking his brave pills, as he should. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, oh, we're lit. We're lit. Any incoming? Any incoming? 3, 2, 1, T20 prototype. Can he take... Can he take any kind of... Uh, no, 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 you can't. Alright, cool. Saddle down. Nothing there. T28 Pro is still climbing, so no. Let's... Okay, Artie's nailed him. That's good, that's good. That's good. Alright. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. I thought I was a goner there. Okay, Scott, come on, buddy. I need you. Yeah. T28 now, but didn't track us. Improved hardening's definitely doing its job. He's definitely going to be loaded by now. T44. I'm going to let him come around here. We're going to come around here. Try and take one more hit. Yep, yep, yep. I'm already pre-aimed there, mate. Already pre-aimed. Bounced. Hello. No. That was odd. Did you not see how slow? Okay, he's dead. That was a bold move there, uh, Saladin. <laughs> And it did not pay off for you, Cotton. <laughs> so his T28 prototype's dead. Yeah, light tanks are just going to feast on him. And so that was another victory. Again, we are playing very, very defensive in this tank. Again, mostly because we don't have upgrades. Once we get the upgrades, we can start getting a little bit more ballsy, getting a little bit more aggressive. Uh, so, yeah. And let's apply this victory to it and uh, go from there. Alright, so we could get the radio, but I don't want that. 
Uh, we are 9k away from the gun. Well, about 5k, yeah. So we're 9k away from the gun. And that's what we want to get first. That's what we want to focus on first, is the gun. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. And in fact, I am going to activate a combat booster. If we have any, we should have some. We do, we have one. There we go. Combat booster is activated. Nice. So let's go back. And let's get into it. So you might earn a little bit more EXP. Get the next gun. And uh, yeah, so this is our last battle for this episode, guys. Uh, again, big thank you to coffeebrandcoffee.com for the sponsorship of this video series. Jeremy, you rock. Guys, please check out the link. Video uh, Link will be in the video description. Okay, so we are on Torn uh, Glacier. Hmm. Hmm. They've got two wheeled vehicles. Mediums. That's probably going to go pity, 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 pity right up there. Do I want to be... Yeah. So what I'm going to do is try and get into a defensive position where I can at least get a shot. And I'm even going to low premium for this. Mostly for the shell velocity. Oh, no, not from up here. Can't get an angle from here. But we can from here. Okay, so there's the Saladan. Is he going to try it? I don't think he is. Is he? No. Okay, good. Okay, switching back to regular ammo. Oh, yeah, like I said, this thing needs some love when it comes to turning. You always want to take the furthest left that you can. Oh, you're bloody brave, I'll give you that. And there's a reason why you always want to take the furthest angle. Um, mostly so that you can't get shot at like that. Um, the way they redesign this map is, okay, t 77s being brave. That's good. Okay, so we spotted the BZ. I don't know how they didn't spot him. Like, for real, how did you not spot him? He's right there. So why am I spotting him? I don't know. Okay. Oh, he's done for. Nicely done. Good move, lads. Good move. I got this. I got this. Let me take point. Let me take point. Thank you, buddy. I'll take the point. I'll take the hit. Oh, yeah. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Bounce. That's what I wanted to see. It's fine. It's fine. Again, swarm him. Paul Progetto, don't stand a chance. Shot in the bum. Rammed. Bro. There we go. <laughs> He's trying to go for a swim. You poor bugger. Alright. Got to be careful now because they have quite a lot of tank destroyers. And I don't think... Oh, no, wait, wait. Okay, so two of them. Looks like two of them's gone south. Uh, Scorp and a TS. Okay, so there's the super... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, alright, alright, BZ, right there. Ooh. Thank you, Artie, I love you too. I'm going to try and, there we go. What's up, dude? Yep, I'll walk point, it's fine. I'll take a smack from you. I'll take a smack from you, it's all good. I beat your reload anyway. There you go. That's fine. Got him. Bounce the Progetto. Bounce the Birdie. Nice. 
Ferdinand still. Oh, Ferdinand got me. That's fine. You have to. You're gonna have to change your mindset when going from the uh, uh, SU-100 M1 to this tank because that one an, uh, is an assault tank. This one, I don't know yet. I'm still gonna be filling it out because it's still only our third game. So, you know, we will be filling it out. We will be filling it out. We've got Spotter, Mastery Badge, the class again. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Not going to complain. No complaints, no regrets. And so, yeah, like I said, we can get the radio, but we don't want that. We want the gun. It's a tier 9 gun. 330 pen with alpha, with, with, with premium. That's what we need. We need the gun. We need the gun. So, again, guys, thank you for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next episode. Guys, don't forget, please, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Leave a comment for the algorithm. I greatly appreciate it. Better yet, you know, and this is another thing. Please check out my, my sponsor's video. video. Check out my sponsor's link down below in the video description. Learn to speak, Cobra. Anyway, <laughs> keep your shells fine. Keep your enemies down. Your Cobra Commander is out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.